Uh, we've had over the last uh, 12 months, we, uh, we had uh, a little bit more than 1 million asylum applications uh, in the EU plus, so that's uh, European member states plus Norway and Switzerland. That's, uh, that's less than last year, uh, but still it's, uh, it's a high number and that's mainly, uh, you can mainly uh, explain that by the fact that uh, it took quite a long time for member states to actually register all applications, especially since, uh, since there were very high numbers of arrivals uh, end of 2015 and, and beginning of 2016. What we had more was number of decisions, so it was a, a, a record year in terms of uh, asylum decisions at uh, the first instance. So that has led to a decrease in the number of uh, pending cases, so the number of, uh, of, of backlog cases, if you wish, uh, which now stands at uh, 660. Uh, in the EU, which is still very high, of course, so there's still a lot of work to be done. Um, these numbers, of course, uh, conceal a lot of differences between member states, so uh, there's no unique picture. The, the central Mediterranean route is the, is the central route, uh, so there's less people coming via the eastern Mediterranean. Uh, but we see also that uh, the western Mediterranean route, so coming, arriving in Spain, is, is uh, increasing uh, compared to the past. So there are still things that, uh, that need, to be, need to be monitored.